So, okay, this problem seems to be a difficult one for many students. Uh, P lies on the line y equal to x, Q lies on y equal to 2x. Uh, the equation of the locus of the midpoint of PQ, uh, given that mod PQ is equal to 4, is, and we've we got given four options. So, I'm going to do it in uh, two ways. First, we'll actually solve the problem and, and uh, get the answer. And then I'm going to treat it as an MCQ and use some other insights to eliminate uh, various options. So here, um, since P lies on y equal to x, uh, we can assume that P has the coordinates x1, comma x1. Uh, Q lies on the point uh, y equal to 2x, so let its coordinates be x2, comma 2x2. Now we've got the condition PQ, mod PQ equal to 4. So, so from uh, distance formula, we get x1 minus x2 whole squared plus x1 minus 2x2 whole squared equals to 16. Uh, expanding and then simplifying, we get 2x1 squared minus 6x1x2 plus 5x2 squared equal to 16. Uh, let's call this equation 1. Now let the midpoint that we are looking uh, at and trying to find the locus for be m h comma k. Then automatically h will be x1 plus x2 by 2 and k will be x1 plus 2x2 by 2. Uh, so that gives us x1 plus x2 is 2h and x1 plus 2x2 is 2k. Uh, solving these two equations, we will get x1 is equal to 4h minus 2k and x2 is equal to 2k minus 2h. Let's call these equations 2 and 3. Now we will use equations 2 and 3 in equations 1. See, equations uh, 2 and 3 give us x1 and x2 in terms of h and k. Equation 1 has only x1 and x2. In other words, by substituting, we will convert equation 1 into in terms of h and k now. So in doing that, um, we will get 2 times 4h minus 2k whole squared minus 6 times 4h minus 2k into 2k minus 2h plus 5 times 2k minus 2h whole squared is equal to 16. Expanding and simplifying, we will get 5, uh, 25h squared minus 36hk plus 13k squared is equal to 4, which is uh, the locus uh, turns out to be 25x squared minus 36xy plus 13y squared equal to 4, which if we look back at the question is option B. Now, that was uh, not necessarily very long, but uh, at the same time, it's not necessarily very, very intuitive either to, to be able to think that, okay, I can choose uh, different coordinates, x1, comma, x1, and x2, comma, 2x2, and then work and then solve. It's kind of a counterintuitive way of going about solving a problem. So let's uh, look at it in a different manner. We know that this is an MCQ. So we're going to solve it using techniques that are suited for an MCQ. We are also going to treat it not as a basic coordinate geometry or straight lines kind of a problem. We're going to be treating it as a conic sections kind of a problem. Uh, so let's look at this. Yeah, if we look at uh, the general second degree equation in two variables uh, and then look at the uh, the options, yeah, A, B, C, and D, we will see that we have A always 25. B is either plus or minus 13. C is minus 4. F is 0. G is 0. H is either plus or minus 18. Uh, we can calculate a delta. Uh, A, B, C plus 2 F, G, H minus A, F squared minus B, G squared minus C, H squared. And we can see no matter what combinations of uh, B and H, those are the only two variables that... Uh, the parameters that have different values. Uh, so no matter what those are, we will get a non-zero value, which means the equations we are given do not represent a pair of lines. They are some conic sections. So now we look at h squared minus ab, and we see we either get 20, 324 plus 325 or 324 minus 325, which means either h squared minus ab is less than zero, uh, or it is greater than zero. Yeah. Uh, so if we look at that now and look at the options, we can see that A and B represent ellipses because h squared minus AB is less than zero, and uh, C and D will represent hyperbolas because h squared minus AB is greater than zero. It's very easy to verify that. Now 
we also need to know that we've been given a condition that mod PQ is equal to 4. That indicates that we are looking at a bounded figure, we are looking at a continuous figure, and therefore we cannot be looking at a hyperbola. And therefore options C and D can be eliminated right away. So let's sketch the lines here. You can see that uh, we have the red line, that's y equal to x. The uh, blue line is y equal to 2x. And uh, the angle represented by the shaded area is the acute angle. The other one by the non-shaded area is obtuse. And therefore any point, if you're looking at mod PQ equal to 4, points on the locus that lie in the shaded region will be further from the origin than points on the locus in the non-shaded region. It's very easy to uh, just visualize that. Now, what does that tell us? It tells us that if you're looking at an ellipse, then its major axis must lie in the shaded region. In other words, if we look at the shaded region and we say that the major axis must lie in the shaded region, then the slope of the major axis must be positive. And that means that ABH, the product, should be negative. Now remember, we were left with two options, A and B, and you can see that here in option A, ABH is greater than zero, whereas in option B, ABH is less than zero, and therefore we get that the answer is B. Now please note, here there is a lot of discussion that I have uh, uh, gone about and explaining things, but there's no working. These are just simple uh, observations that, okay, delta is uh, non-zero. Yeah, h square minus ab is either positive or negative. If it's positive, it represents a hyperbola. It cannot be a hyperbola. If it's negative, it represents an ellipse. It can be an ellipse. And then we're just looking at what the orientation of the major axis of the ellipse is. So there is absolutely, I mean, hardly any calculations going on. But we get the answer. We, we, this argument does not help us solve I cannot conclusively say that it is 25x squared minus 36xy plus 13y squared equal to 4, but this is an MCQ. And since I've been given options and I've been able to eliminate three of them, it must be the fourth.